safety, C.J. Gardner-Johnson and Reed Blankenship. But I think one of the more interesting things of the day, James Bradbury, yep. second team safety, you know, did not uh, was not with the cornerbacks in individual groups, was just with the safeties. This is a guy who right now is a safety only, and he's practicing, he's playing. So what do you make of that? Imagine humbling for James, right? Yeah, being I a second-team yeah. safety, being out there with Tristan McCollum. This is yeah. a guy who signed a you know, th- you know, $36 million contract or so, was a, uh, uh, was a second-team All-Pro. Yeah, yeah, this is – we've spoken about this. I, sh- I shouldn't keep saying we've spoken about this, but it's such a fascinating thing because there is no or very little financial incentive to move on. Like his, his option was guaranteed, Okay. So they already paid that, you know, that option was, was, was guaranteed. So really you're looking at an opportunity cost now. Um, there could be some cap relief if they were to trade him. Uh, but some cash relief more than that. Right. I know. I think that's more cap, isn't it? Is it? No, yeah. Well. It could be wrong. Um, maybe so, but, um, yeah. So if he's on, it, it might be a little cash and cap, but certainly, like it's right m- now, it's it's minor, whatever yeah. it is. Yeah. But if 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 they cut them, there's there's no relief. Right. Yeah. So uh, point being, like like they have a decision to make here. Do you carry him because you're paying him? Because this is someone who has who has demonstrated ability in the past. Because like from all indications, our encounters with him, but also what we hear, he's a respected guy. Like he's he's not someone who who ruffles feathers behind the scenes. Um, is he someone you just keep as insurance or do you say how he, like he mentioned before practice, they changed, they made a lot of additions in this secondary. This is a, there's a lot of new faces. The opportunity cost is not enough. You suck it up. It's a sunk cost. You, you paid it. Let's just, let's just go with it. I think it's very interesting. Um, and I'm, you know, I would love to talk to James Bradbury about, Mm -hmm. uh, what this summer has been like for him, because I'm curious if he, like, has he gone about having to change his body at all in order to play a new position? Yeah. Like, has he tried to bulk up a little bit? Because that would suggest to me that that this is a thing that might be real because I think in theory, if a team is going to trade for him, they're probably going to do it at corner, even though he was bad last sure. year. It's, it's a little bit more theoretical to expect that this guy's, you're going to trade for a guy at a new position you've never seen him play before. Um, and... You talked about, you know, this is a guy who's, who's considered a very good guy in the locker room. We have seen that he's one of the smarter players on defense. So from the seeing the game standpoint, safety seems like a fit. From a roster standpoint, Sidney Jones is starting on PUP. If Maybe. Sidney Jones yeah. well, is starting oh, right now, camp yeah. on PUP. If he makes it to, yep. to the season on PUP, if Avante Maddox is the top backup at safety, but there's a guy who you can't necessarily count on staying healthy, there really is a need for some reliability or at least some some playable depth at safety and if james bradbury can do it and you're paying him anyway i don't think that that's the worst thing in the world if if he's willing to you know take that medicine i don't think that that's i don't think that it's crazy and it's probably a you know i still think it's more likely than not he's not going to be on the team but uh it's more likely than i thought it was a month ago agree with all those points the one thing i would add though hasn't been a very good tackler and uh is that true? I think he's a pretty. I think he's a pretty reliable tackler. Okay. I mean, I, mean, I, I there were a few I mean, missed tackles that come to my mind. I feel like the missed tackles to me were like he's slow. Okay. You All know right. what I mean? So you like, think I, don't, I don't think he's. I don't think he's contact averse. Oh, that's true. Yeah, I don't think he's contact averse either. Okay. Mm-hmm. 